Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays the Darkest Dungeon. Last time, Bear, Droger, Gond, and Conte went into the Warrens. I uh, let the torch run a little bit low, but still had a good time. Got some level fours out of it. Sorry, Bear. Uh, Purple Spark got Luminous locked in. That's pretty great. But Rusty went on a personal vision quest to achieve enlightenment, which seems like a very shackled thing to do. So. I did plan on taking some level 6s out today, but unfortunately Rusty's not going to be one of them. I think he's level 5. No, he's level 6, so he would have counted. Anyway, we got Broken Set, Mogan Set, Brown Set, Lyborg Set ready to go. I'm going to go to the farmstead, take on the White Wolf, try to get a nice uh, bit of accuracy for range skills out of the deal if we can. Pack Hunters. The Wolf once again threatens our lands and our people. Return him to that accursed farm. And silence him once and for all. We're going to take on the White Wolf. Can he bleed? Well, we're going to find out. You can take this. It doesn't hurt to have. Uh, Moke, you're going to take this. It doesn't hurt to have. I mean, it's a little bit of health, but nothing we can't... Nothing we can't survive. Bottomless Pale. Um, let's take the HP, and then we'll leave the other two on the table, I think. Liborg, accuracy and speed. You got to take it. Now, Liborg, please understand... We're gonna build the damage. You know we're gonna build the damage. Um, I could actually give you this as well, and then he would gain even more damage per hit. Which just seems... Too good. In fact, I think it is too good. But, if we had- if we had anyone other than Brawn as our main healer, I would be... Thinking again about this. But I think Brawn will actually make this work, with the way that her heals work. So... We're doing the absolute dumbest strat here to try to get all of the attack power we can. Giving him that. Where the heck are the chains? I need the giant's shackles. I don't see them. There they are. Okay, there you go. Yeah, we got him. We got him. <laughs> oh, God. What am I doing? Um, Even more crits, please. Uh, and then the finger for even more crits. Okay. He's got 41 health, which is not a ton, but 35% crit, 22 accuracy, uh, 10 to 15 damage, which will boost up by a minimum of, uh, what is this, 40, 55% per hit? No, oh, no, wait. No, even more. 70% uh, minimum. Uh, that's per attack, not per hit. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be dumb. It's gonna be real dumb. Uh, you're actually gonna get the Electro Besieger because you can make use of that accuracy and crit. Bron, so congrats. You're also gonna get the Rattle. You're gonna get the Dolls. You're gonna get the, uh, Dope. We're out of stuff. Uh, well, I would love to give you the Drum. I guess I'll give you that instead of the health. Mm, 36 is not a lot of health, but we need the Bottomless Pale. That's actually excellent. So we can't give that up. Mook. I think you're the one that we build for raw damage. Broken set will get the um, sigils, I think. Because you'll be able to make the best use of them. But for... for Mook, let's go ahead and give you some accuracy as well. And a little bit of prod. I don't think that hurts us at all. Um, Wadden sword. Wadden combo should go to broken set. I'll give you a little bit of minus dodge and speed for some damage crit and accuracy i think that's a good deal give you the life soul key so you can keep your health up that would be a good deal you do have good stuns so i could give you some stun trinkets as well an extra 20 percent stun chance i don't know if that's gonna be incredibly useful but we'll find out together won't we what else we got we shouldn't need the map this is a one room uh battle from what the game actually tells me itself so Extra damage against mark targets. There you go. Okay. And then broken set. You're going to get the sigils. Since I pretty much already decided on that. You have so much speed. Uh, you're going to get the wadden sword, wadden horse combo. You're getting the veggie daggles because you don't need raw attack power. You're getting this for heals. And then you're getting this for extra health. I think that's good. We're going to find out. Hopefully I'm right. Uh, we shouldn't need to bring food. But, you know, I'm going to bring it anyway because... Uh, who knows? Bring everything else that we could possibly use. You notice torches are not on this list. So, yeah, we shouldn't need to bring food. Cleansing elixirs, just in case we need stun relief. We might not, but who knows right now? 
Could bring some shod dust, but I don't think we need it. Okay, let's see what happens here. You hear a faint howling in the distance. Roo, roo, roo. Roo, 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 roo. Let's see what we can do about this howling. Well, it doesn't have infinite stun resist, so that's good. Bombs away. All right, nice cannon. Uh, the bombs, all right. So, I assume this hurts us once it explodes. That's probably... Oh, he does not bleed, though. Oh, that's... That's spicy. 236 health. All right, that's a good amount. Good amount. We can lower his bleed resist over time. That's worth noting. Go ahead and shoot him. Good stuff. There's the 55 extra damage. Minus 5 accuracy. Get them. Now you bring in allies, huh? Yeah. See, we're going to need those allies. But we, you're going to need those allies. Uh, you know, give me the extra damage and accuracy back here. It's actually not accuracy, right? It's crit chance. Yeah, that's still really good. Uh, throw some extra prod up front. We're going to need as much prod as we can get. It's going to build up very quickly over time, but still. That summons as well? All right, whatever, I guess. He guarded by Wolf, but we've already lost that. On oh, wait, no, this works. We attack Wolf. That's all we got to do. There you go. Oh my god! I did not see how much damage... What is that? 125% while guarding? 125% damage reflection while guarding. Stun him to stop the onslaught. Okay, so he lowers his stun resist at some point. Uh, we got Moak that can help... T that can definitely take care of that. Um, just go ahead and heal. Yeah. Keep us healthy. Okay. Gotcha. We do have to wait for that to go away. Which sucks. But in the meantime... Liborg has plenty he can do. There's still plenty of hurt to go around. Give me the heals. Give me that prot up. Yup, yup, yup. Throw even more prot to the front. Thank. All right, then we're going to try to throw out a stun eventually. But he does have a lot of stun. Well, he has very low speed right now. So the stun is in our favor. There it is. Okay. Thankfully, it doesn't do a lot of damage to him either. Slice and dice does get a crit. That sucks. I do want to do an AoE attack from uh, Liborg eventually. Spectral Onslaught. I thought the whole point of stunning you was to stop the Onslaught. Spectral Cannonade. I was... I These bastards lied to me. I feel like I got freaking lied to here about how that's supposed to work. 15 reflection just from... Uh, just from Broken alone. That's good stuff, needless to say. Uh, you know, his health is low again, but... Actually, you know what? Redeem it anyway. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. He gets less healing done, but... I think he'll be fine. Yeah, we needed to do that. Still a lot of damage, but no bleed on Brawn. That's guaranteed. Crystalline Barrier. Does that give him the stun? No, it's extra damage reflection. Okay. Gotcha. Spectral Cannonade to the front. He does have full prot at this point, which is great. He needs it. He's not guarding anymore. Okay, let's, uh, let's AoE. We're gonna take the explosion. Not that big of a deal, honestly. I think that was worth it. We do have a mark right here. Let's go ahead and take this guy down. As the fiend falls, this crystalline fiend raider. Hope blossoms. Otherworldly whale. All right, as long as it's not a shuffle, we're fine. Festering fear consumes okay, heal yourself. Thank you. Hey, your prot is not nearly as high as anyone else's, but uh, we're keeping it going. All right, and here comes the explosion. I could have, um, I could have avoided some of that damage on Liborg with the block. I know this, but that's okay. All right. At this point, I think we just need to get rid of the bombs. I know we can summon them back eventually, but. Hoy. He's doing just so much. Comes a shank to the front. Barely any damage. 
And the bleed is reflected, of course. Beautiful. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and throw up the block. Hopefully he won't get rid of both of them. I should have used the anti-venom as well, but I didn't, so here we are. A devastating blow. Beautiful slap. That gets the kill on the uh, raider, which means Volp is going to be within range of basically everyone. Yep, there goes one of them. Okay, that, that does get rid of the mark, though, so that works out for us, I think. Okay, I need Brawn to attack eventually so that she can get her double attack back. But uh, for now... Or her double heal, I should say. But for now, let's go ahead and put a heal right here. There we go. I need your debuffs to go away. Otherworldly Whale. Okay, again, as long as that's not a shuffle, I feel okay. Uh, we do reflect the Blight, of course. Here goes time's up. That heal means that we're at death's door. All right. This guy's dead. Remember that. Uh, okay. He gets to move immediately, of course. That's a death blow? Oh my god. The stupid fucking damage from the Grimoire. Not the Grimoire. Um, the Sigil. Wait, is it the Sigil? I think it's the Sigil. Anyway, the stupid fucking damage. God damn it. All right. Well, just shoot him at this point. A decisive pummeling. How about we stop fucking around and just kill this guy? All right. At the rate that, um, at the rate that Liveborg's hurting him, he should be dead in two more rounds. The abyss returns even the boldest gaze. God damn it. Okay. Oh. Bitches out of here. You, and you can't run from his arrows either. That's the better part. Okay, get them. Oh, yeah, he gets to summon two this time. Of course he does. <laughs> Why wouldn't he get to summon two? That's fine. Okay, bombs away. Oh, shit. Liborg does not have her um, double heal from here. I might be able to get... Well, not, not Liborg. Uh, Brawn. Mm, we can probably still work around this. Got to get the butterfly here, of course. That's a lot of help uh, given back. You cannot foreseen shot from there, so we're base. We're kind of stuck here. I miss. I'm gonna miss that reflection, but that's okay. Doesn't look like Wolf can heal himself, so we're probably gonna be fine. Yep. There's the extra move. There's the clincher. Oh, excuse me? Oh, the fucking reflection. God damn the reflection. Son of a fucking bitch. I just need him dead. God damn it. This is some annoying shit. There's, he dodged it. That was awesome. It was a good dodge from Liborg. Damage reflection while guarding. He dodged again. He's not guarding right now, so if we can just hit him one time with Flyborg, he's gone. Wow, that actually brought you to death's door too. Okay. Okay, that will that should not get a damage attack. Okay, good. Wait, that's still healed? What? Oh, you have re restoration. Duh. I'm dumb. A brilliant confluence. Ignore me. I know what I'm doing, kind of. I played this game once. All right, Liborg, kill this freaking asshole. Get this guy out of my house. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. All right. Their formation is broken. That is what you get. Maintain the offensive. Okay, we got all of his stuff. Clearly it need. is the sigil. Okay, I thought it was. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Wasn't 100% sure, but yeah, that's what it was. Uh, Vol's Fang. Extra damage if afflicted. Less stress done if afflicted. 100% uh, double stress healing from heart attacks. <laughs> On attack, give stress. Okay. Vol's Hide. Extra accuracy, extra debuff chance. Minus speed. On attack, lower enemy speed. Eh. And those howl. 
HP, guard duration, uh, 50% extra damage reflection while guarded, minus 100% prot. At least this one, I could see, I could see some definite use for this in quite a few ways. Uh, these two are fine, I guess. I mean, obviously you need to go for an affliction strat with the fang. The hide's okay. I think it would actually work with, um, uh, what's her name? With the, uh, land dweller. Since she already has a move that lowers speed, you just lower it some more. Anyway, that sucked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I love seeing after a mission. Hmm. Beautiful. Marked by the flock is actually not that bad. I can live with it. Extra damage against large enemies is pretty good. On brawn. The poor caretaker. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. All right. Obviously, we need to go for stress relief. Uh, but for you two, we're going to go for disease relief first. Extra torch increase modifier, extra damage received. And minus dodge, extra stress. Yeah, get rid of those. Do me that favor, please. All right, well, I was hoping to go on two of those single room missions, but uh, I don't feel like it anymore. So that is going to be it for this episode of That Place of Doggest Dungeon. Yeah, it was a short one, but hey, it was straight and to the point, you know? Uh, fair reminder, sigil procs on everything, even if it doesn't actually do damage. <gasps> Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more, because keep coming, it won't stop coming. Mm-hmm. Thanks again for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video, everybody owes.